How does the battery work? Many electronics need to be plugged in to work. But cordless technology is on the rise. We have cordless toothbrushes, cordless computers, and cordless vacuums. Basically, any electronics that we use can be made wireless. But what replaces the wires? If wires deliver electricity to our electronics, where do they get electricity when we upgrade to cordless? Batteries. Batteries run our electronics that do not need to be attached to wall outlets. They convert chemical energy into electricity to be used as a source of power. But how does a battery go about converting chemical energy into electricity? Let's talk about the basics. Attraction is fundamental. Aww. Attraction occurs at the atom level as well. An atom is the basis of matter. Everything in the world is made from configurations of atoms. An atom consists of neutrons, which are uncharged, protons, which are positively charged, and electrons, which are negatively charged. Atoms are inherently neutral, meaning they have no charge because the number of neutrons, protons, and electrons are the same, so the charges cancel. Zero plus one positive plus one negative equals zero. When an atom has an unequal number of protons and electrons, it becomes an ion. Ions can be positively charged if they have more protons than electrons. We call these ions cations. Or they can be negatively charged if they have more electrons than protons. These are called anions. A battery consists of three parts. An anode, the negative side, a cathode, the positive side, and the electrolyte. In a battery, there is at least one cell that has two half cells. One half of the cell contains a cathode. A cathode attracts electrons. The other half of the cell contains an anode. The anode donates electrons. Electrolyte is on both sides of the battery. Here's another basic fact of life. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Cations are missing one or more electrons, and they really want them back. Anions have extra electrons and are often happy to part with them. However, protons are tightly bound to the nucleus in atoms, but electrons are freewheeling. So electrons can move to find protons, but protons are loyal and stay with the atom. Back to the battery. Due to chemical reactions, electrons build up at the cathode. This results in an electrical difference between the anode and the cathode. The electrons want to rearrange themselves to get rid of this difference. In a battery, the only place to go is to the cathode. However, the electrolyte keeps the electrons from going straight from the anode to the cathode. A wire allows the electrons access to the cathode. So when the wire is connected, the electrons can flow. Along this path, our electronics can use the energy generated by the difference in charges. But sadly, this flow cannot last forever. After a while, the potential energy is depleted and can no longer power our electronics. That's how a battery works.